Sometimes you want to remove the background, but you didn't film it on a green screen, or maybe you don't even have a green screen. You can do it in CapCut, but for this to work, you want to film yourself or your subject against a background that looks different than the background. For example, you in the foreground should be brighter or darker than the background, wearing different colors in the background, and you want to get rid of wispy hairs, like maybe comb your hair tight or wear a hat or something like that so the hairs don't go fandangling around. Is fandangling a word? I, I don't know. Assuming you've got a video clip that match this criteria, sort of, this is how to do it in CapCut in under two minutes. I say there's mathematically zero chance of that happening. I'm also gonna show you how to create a background using CapCut's built-in AI. So dangerous. Before we create a new project, we're just gonna click here on text to image to create that background. Before we type in what we want, we're going to click on this icon right here to choose the aspect ratio of the background because we want it to be the video aspect ratio that's used most commonly, which is 16 by nine. We also wanna bump up the quality to full, 50. Click the check mark. I'm gonna delete all this text that they had in there already and type in something we want. Futuristic vision of Mars after Elon Musk populates it as seen from ground level. Hit generate. Now I typed in from ground level because it might have been from up higher low and I want to have it low enough so that I can walk across it. Doesn't always get it right. Let's let's see how it did. So these aren't too bad. Let's try this one. These I see have shadows, so that may not work because I'm not really in the shadow. So I'm gonna click on this one and choose upscale. Looks pretty cool, so I'll just hit save. It's saved to my library now. So now I can go ahead and create a new project and I can import that backplate. I'll hit photos and there it is. Looks good, I'll hit add. Looks fine like that. I wanna put me on top of this layer. To do that, you click overlay here on the bottom. I click add overlay. I go into my videos and choose the video I'd like to use. Here's one I shot in my backyard next to the propane. Click add. This video I shot is on top of Mars and you can't see me yet, so I'm gonna trim this up. I'm going to just scroll until I start walking, which is right about here, probably looks good. I'm gonna make sure it's highlighted and click split. Then here in front, I'm gonna click on that guy and hit delete, which is the trash can. And then in order to move things in CapCut, you have to hold them down. So I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna hold it and then drag it to the right. Click and hold until it's all the way to the beginning and there it is at the very beginning. So here you can see that I'm on top of the Mars layer but you still see my background. You can also see that the Mars layer runs out after three seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that and create more Mars. It's just a still image so that I don't like walk off the screen into Never Never Land. So we're just gonna scroll over here to copy and hit that a few times and now we're not gonna run out of background. Next, we're gonna hit this back arrow and hit it again and now on top, we can see this little teardrop shape that represents the overlay layer, that layer of me. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna to slide to the right and choose cut out. And all you need to do is position, you know, somewhere where you think there's really the most balanced lighting that's gonna be consistent throughout. So just in the middle is probably fine. And then you click on remove background and click on the check mark and you let it think for a minute, and let's see if it worked. <gasps> I'm so excited. Boom, background gone. That doesn't look too bad. I'm on Mars, but I'm maybe a little small. So we're gonna scroll over here and choose basic. Where'd you go basic? There you are. So I can scale me up. You can also just use your fingers. Click on scale, drag this guy to the left and scale me up a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring me down a little bit here. You know, let's see how that worked. Let's hit uh, the check mark and hit play. You know, for a one-click background removal, not shot on green screen, that's that's not bad at all. It is a masterpiece. If you do have a green screen video and you wanna learn how to remove the green screen on your iPhone or Android or tablet, you wanna click on this video right here.